Hello everyone, it's Judy here and you're welcome to Smartwatch Series. In today's video, I am going to be talking about tracking your sleep with the Fitbit Vato 3. Sleep is an important aspect of our daily life that helps in tissue growth, repair and mental recovery. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the various types of sleep stages as well as their benefits. I will talk about what a sleep cycle is. We'll also talk about how the Versa 3 slash Fitbit Sense tracks your sleep. We'll talk about the Versa 3 sleep tracking accuracy. And finally, we'll talk about how much sleep you really need. So stay tuned, guys. Welcome back, guys. Starting with the viral sleep stages. According to sleep researchers, there are five stages of sleep. The wake stage, N1, N2, N3, and rapid eye movement, otherwise known as REM stage. Sleep is further divided into two major parts, NREM and REM stage. The NREM comprises of N1, N2, and N3 stages. N1 and N2 are referred to as light sleep, while N3 is referred to as deep sleep. The Fitbit Versa 3 tracks your sleep in four stages. The awake stage, light sleep stage, which comprises of N1 and N2 stages. The deep sleep stage, which represents N3 and REM stages. So let's talk about the five different stages. The first stage is the wake stage. This is when we are still awake and just winding down to sleep. According to EEG recordings of the brain, this stage is characterized by beta and alpha waves. Beta waves dominate when our eyes are still open, while alpha waves dominate when we close our eyes. The second stage of sleep is the N1 stage, which is the lightest form of sleep and it accounts for 5% of total sleep. In this stage, Breathing is regular and muscle tone occur in the skeletal muscles. The EEG recordings of the brain show that the N1 stage is characterized by low voltage theta waves and it begins when more than half of the alpha waves are replaced by low amplitude missed frequency activity. The third stage is the N2 stage, which is a deeper form of light sleep and it accounts for 45% of total sleep. The EEG recordings of this stage shows it characterized by sleep spindles, K-complexes, or both. Sleep spindles are powerful neuronal firings, which according to studies, helps in memory consolidation. On the other hand, K-complexes are long data waves, which according to studies, plays an important role in maintaining sleep and memory consolidation. The fourth stage is the entry stage, which is the deepest form of sleep and it accounts for 25% of total sleep. The EEG recordings of this stage shows it's characterized by low frequency data waves where the muscle is totally relaxed, breathing is regular and heart rate is lowered. It is in this stage that the body undergoes repairs build muscles and bones as well as strengthens the immune system. It's very hard to wake anyone in the deep sleep stage and it is in this stage that bedwetting and sleepwalking occurs. The last stage of sleep is the REM stage. EEG recordings show that this stage is characterized by beta waves similar to when we are awake. However, during this stage, the muscle is actually paralyzed to prevent us from acting out our dreams with heart rate increase, breathing becomes irregular and eyes move rapidly behind a closed eyelid, hence the name. REM sleep plays an important role in memory rejuvenation and it is in this stage that vivid dreaming occurs. REM sleep starts about 90 minutes after we first fall asleep. With the first phase lasting about 10 minutes, it gets longer as the night progresses. In summary, light sleep helps in maintaining sleep and memory consolidation. 
On the other hand, deep sleep helps the body undergo repairs, build bones, muscle, and boost immune system. And finally, REM sleep helps in memory rejuvenation. Going further, let's talk about sleep circle. A sleep circle comprises of the various stages of sleep. A typical night sleep consists of four to five circles with each sleep circle lasting 90 to 110 minutes. According to studies, sleep progresses in a predictive pattern that follows the order N1, N2, N3, and then N2 again before REM. The first stage of light sleep lasts about 25 minutes and 10 minutes for REM stage. As the night progresses, both light and REM stages of sleep become longer. On the other hand, deep sleep gets shorter as the night progresses. Deep and REM sleep stages are affected by age as older individuals tend to spend more time in light sleep than REM and deep sleep. Going further, let's talk about how the Vasa tray tracks your sleep. The Vasa tray tracks your sleep in four stages, which is awake, light, deep, and REM stages of your sleep. It will also track your blood oxygen, which you can view when you install its signature watch face on your Vasa tray or Fitbit Sense. The Vasa tray will automatically track your sleep once you wear it to sleep. The best way to wear the Vasa tray is to wear it snugly on your wrist, not too tight, not too loose, and a little bit inches apart from your ankle. Now, when you wake up from sleep, the Vasa tray doesn't automatically or immediately shows your sleep results. It takes a little while, and for you to do that, you simply need to go to the Fitbit app, and this will sync to the Vasa tray, and you will be able to view your sleep tracking result. For last night, I wore the Vasa tray to sleep. Okay, when you go to the Fitbit app here, you open the Fitbit app, and if you see that it is saying gathering your data, okay, once you wake up in the morning, open the Fitbit app, and if you see it syncing your Vasa tray, this will allow you to see your sleep tracking result. It will automatically do this, but it does take some time. But if you want to see your sleep tracking result immediately, just wake up in the morning, open the Fitbit app, and try to sync the app to the Versa tray. And once you have synced it, you should see your sleep data right below in this section. So when you tap on this side, this is my sleep record for last night, which is seven hours and 10 minutes. And it also gives me a sleep score. And if you go down further, you have the various amount of time I slept, I spent in each stages. You can also see your average sleep time for the past um, 30 days. I haven't been wearing the water tray all this while, okay? And if you tap on the benchmark here, it shows the average for men within my age, okay? As you can see here, it says ranges for men your age. If you are a female, you will definitely see ranges for women your age. So this way you can know what is the average for other people of your age. This way you can know if you're actually getting the right amount of sleep or not. If you go down for that, you also have an estimated oxygen variation while i was asleep okay and if you go down further you have snow and noise sleep in heart rate as well as restlessness all these are locked behind fitbit premium if you subscribe for fitbit premium you will get to see all of this data and if you have the spo2 watch face installed on your versa 3 and it's supported in your country you will be able to see your blood oxygen levels while you were asleep you can also view your sleep tracking result from the Versa tree by simply swiping up. When you swipe up, you should see your total amount of sleep, which is here. Okay, if I tap on this and it opens up, you can see that this is my score 84, and these are the time spent in the various stages as well as the percentage each of these constituted. And if you go further down, it says open the app to see more data. So that is how you can track your sleep as well as blood oxygen level with the Fitbit Versa Tray. So let's talk about the sleep tracking accuracy of the Fitbit Versa Tray. So I wore the Versa Tray, the Apple Watch 37, the Galaxy Watch 4, as well as the Band 4 Pro to sleep for last night. And here's the result, as you can see here. 
In terms of the total sleep time, as you can see from the result, the watch 7 said I slept for 6 hours 49 minutes. It is 6 hours 51 minutes with the Galaxy Watch 4. For the Bud 4 Pro, it says I slept 6 hours 54 minutes. And the Versa 3 said I slept 7 hours 10 minutes. So in terms of total sleep time, I can actually say that the Versa 3 is accurate and consistent in tracking my total sleep time. However, I can't actually say how accurate the Versa 3 is in tracking time spent in each stages. As you can see from the result I have for last night, compared to the Galaxy Watch 4 and Band 4 Pro, there's a lot of discrepancies. If you look at the time spent in each stages of sleep, you will notice there are a lot of differences. And based on that, I can't actually say that the Versa 3 is very accurate in tracking my sleep stages. Now let's talk about how much sleep you need. Start with babies. Babies do get about 16 to 18 hours of night sleep which studies suggest is important for growth and memory development. It's about 9 to 5 hours of night sleep for individuals aged 2 to 18 years. Meanwhile, a typical adult needs 7 to 8 hours of sleep to get fully rested. To get a quality sleep, getting the appropriate amount of sleep in each stages is very important. You should aim to get 45 to 50% of light sleep 25% of deep sleep and 25% of REM sleep. So guys, that is it for this video. Please, if you find this video helpful, please do give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button. Until next time, goodbye.